This is the HP Pavilion 15 laptop, and for the price, you get a lot with this thing. So it comes with a charger that allows you to take advantage of HP Fast Charge, meaning that the battery inside of this laptop can be recharged from zero to 50% in just 45 minutes. And also you have a very nice keyboard, including a number pad, so that's awesome. And also the trackpad has a lot of space to it, a lot of space for your photos and other documents. And also a really good selection of ports, including that HDMI port, if you wanna connect this to a monitor. And then I really like this 15 inch full HD micro edge display so you barely have any bezels around the screen this laptop just checks a lot of boxes for me and i think it's going to be a great performing laptop for a lot of people Essentially, the build quality of this laptop remains identical to last year's model. Now the chassis, the keyboard, the trackpad, the hinge, the speakers, the webcam, the RAM, SSD configuration, you know, the port selection, including Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 connectivity, it remains unchanged from the last year's model. So in today's video, I want to focus on the improvements that HP is bringing. There are three main upgrades that I see. First is a brand new CPU. Second upgrade is a completely overhauled integrated graphics chipset. And finally, they have a brand new LCD display panel. The biggest and the most important upgrade that HP has made in this laptop it's in the display quality of the screen. Even though last year's model was sporting a full HD display, I found it to be very underwhelming. This was largely because of the TN panel that HP was using and these TN panels, they create terrible viewing angles. Now, as long as you are directly looking at the laptop, everything looks fine. But a slight head movement, if you move slightly to the left or right, or if you, you know, tilt your head up or down, the, the screen quality just goes down the drain. Basically what happens is these TN panels, they don't, they're not happy with you know skewed viewing angle so if you're looking at a skewed angle the brightness and the contrast will get diminished the text will look fuzzy and the pictures and videos they are going to look completely washed out and dull thankfully this year hp has replaced these uh, awful tn panels with the glorious ips panels now personally i'm a big fan of ips panels because they have much wider viewing angle so when you are looking at the laptop screen you don't have to position yourself you know in like almost perfect uh, perpendicular uh, gaze you can move your head and you can you know relax you can even tilt the screen and you can still read the text pictures colors everything looks still good so with this update, now you are getting a 15.6 inch full HD IPS screen with anti-glare matte coating. The viewing angles are now much better and the matte coating drastically cuts down on glares and reflections. Now the maximum screen brightness, it's still 220 nits, same as what you got last year. So that's not going to change, which means it's fine for indoor use. But if you guys are planning to use this laptop outdoors in bright sunlight, forget about it. It's not going to work. And unfortunately, most budget laptop screens, you know, in this price range, they all have this problem. So I honestly cannot ding HP for this. So overall, I think HP has mitigated most of the problems I had with last year's model especially the display quality. And with this upgrade, HP Notebook 15, in my opinion, it has become one of the worthy challengers to the reigning champion of budget laptops. 